You know, on the surface, it looked like any other rocket launch, but what actually blasted off into the night sky was part of a huge radical shift in U.S. intelligence gathering. We're talking about a massive secret network of spy satellites being built right now, right over our heads. So let's get into it. Okay, so picture this. It's Friday, January 16th, 2026. Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket just rips a hole in the darkness. It's a sight we've gotten used to, right? But this was definitely no ordinary mission. The cargo it was carrying, well, that was for a very quiet, but very powerful client. And the details of what it was actually putting up there into orbit were a very closely guarded secret. So what do we actually know about this particular flight? Let's break down the few details we have on this very clandestine trip to space. Officially, the mission was called NRO-105. It was a SpaceX launch for the U.S. National Reconnaissance Office. You'll hear them called the NRO. So, yeah, we have these basic facts, but the really important stuff, like what was actually on the rocket, was kept completely under wraps. And this is where the mystery really kicks in. The public wasn't told how many satellites were on board, where they were going, or what they could do. And get this, SpaceX cut their public webcast short right after the booster landed. That's pretty standard for these NRO missions. You gotta understand, this level of secrecy is 100% intentional. But this launch, it wasn't just a one-off event, not even close. It's actually a key piece in a much, much larger strategic puzzle that the NRO is putting together. And for anyone who might not be familiar, the NRO is basically the agency in charge of America's eyes and ears in space. They're the ones who design, build, and fly the nation's fleet of spy satellites, giving us all that critical intelligence from orbit. Right now, the NRO is in the middle of a massive strategic overhaul. The term they use for it is their proliferated architecture. And believe me, it is completely changing how they do business in space. So what in the world does proliferated architecture actually mean? Well, it's a fundamental shift in military space velocity. It's a complete rethink of how you maintain an advantage from high above. This right here illustrates the difference perfectly. The old way, you'd have a few very large, incredibly expensive, and super capable satellites. The problem with that is they were also giant predictable targets, kind of like putting all your eggs in one shiny multi-billion dollar basket. This new strategy is the exact opposite, build hundreds of smaller, cheaper satellites. If you lose one, it's not a catastrophe. The network itself is way more resilient. And hey, don't just take my word for it. The director of the NRO, a guy named Chris Gillis, he's spelled it out pretty clearly. He said that having hundreds of these things in orbit gives them better coverage and lets them get vital information to people on the ground much, much faster. It's all about speed and just being there all the time. This really gets to the core of it. What you end up with is a network that's more flexible, can be deployed way faster, is more cost effective, and, this is the most important part, is much, much harder for an adversary to take down. It's literally security through numbers. And here's the kicker. This isn't just some plan they have on a whiteboard for the future. No, this is happening right now, and it is happening at a remarkable pace. The scale of this whole operation is just staggering. So how far along are they, really? Take a look at this number, 12. Now, that's not the number of satellites on that one launch. No, that's the number of launches. That mission we talked about back in January 2026, that was the 12th launch dedicated specifically to building out this brand new network. This is a sustained, high-priority effort. I mean, just look at this timeline. The first launch for this new constellation was back in May of 2024. In less than two years, they've already flown a dozen dedicated missions. That is an incredibly rapid deployment for a major national security space asset. Just wow. And of course, this is a massive collaboration between the government and private industry. The NRO is running the show, but the heavy lifting is being done by commercial partners. You've got SpaceX handling all the launches with its Falcon 9, and the satellites themselves are being built by both SpaceX and the aerospace giant Northrop Grumman. So you see, this isn't just about cool new technology. It's a whole new paradigm for intelligence. This shift to a vast, resilient network of smaller satellites is going to fundamentally change surveillance from orbit. And it leaves us with a pretty big question. As hundreds of new, persistent eyes fill the sky, how is that going to change the way our world is seen? 